Hey, what's up everyone? Jeff Kinder here, and we are back with another project, this time on Atari Centipede. Uh, I picked up this cabinet probably about two years ago. It's been sitting in my pile of projects there that need to be done, uh, but it's time. Um, so I stripped this cabinet down, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. I rebuilt the monitor already, uh, so it's gonna get new side art. Um, the front, uh, that most Atari cabinets had a piece of uh, laminate on the front and that's all chipped up. So I'm probably going to heat that up, peel that whole piece of laminate off and then put a new piece of laminate on the front. Um, but the cabinet itself is pretty solid, needs a couple of things. The top piece here above the back door had fallen off and it's over there. I'm going to put that back on. The bottom piece below the back door was totally missing. Um, so I need to, uh, cut a new piece for that, but the cabinet itself is really solid. So, um, it needs quite a bit of Bondo on the bottom edges, you know, a lot of the chunks taken out of the bottom and just the edges themselves are pretty chewed up. So I'll Bondo that all up and make it really nice and smooth. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up the camera and, uh, get to work on that. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm uh, back to work here on the centipede cabinet. Uh, getting a little more Bondo done on the cabinet. Uh, overall, it's in pretty good shape. Just a lot of the edges were a little, uh, you know, a little nicked up and stuff. So bottom had the most damage. Um, I was going to, I had mentioned um, the front panel had a, uh, most uh, older Ataris had a uh, particle board with a piece of black laminate on the front. Uh, and I was going to peel that off and just put a new piece of laminate on. But as I was peeling it off, you know, I had the heat gun and peeling it off. And it was just really pulling up a lot of the particle board with it. And I was just like, I'm going to have to skim the whole thing with... Um, Bondo, so, uh, and the bottom of it was, I didn't notice until I laid it on its side, but the bottom of the cabinet was pretty swollen. Um, it had some water damage, so the bottom sucked up quite a bit of water. So I just said, all right, screw it, it's going to be easier, just cut a whole new piece. So that's what I did. Um, got the new piece cut, and um, yeah, that's that. So I just need to clean up, 
you know, where uh, I just need to clean up, you know, the area there where the blocking was and put a new piece of blocking on, you know, the upper part and the lower part down there. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be putting that on and uh, just letting this Bondo dry, sanding it down, and, you know, we'll probably be, probably be ready for the side art uh, probably next weekend, maybe. Um, it's Saturday today. I'm off on Monday, so I might, uh, I might come up here to my parents' house and uh, work on this a little bit on Monday. And then hopefully have it ready, cleaned up. After I get it all sanded and good, then I just vacuum the whole cabinet out. I blow it off. I wipe it down. I wipe all the, all the you know, there's just lots of dust and Bondo dust. I wipe that all out. I'll spray the inside black, uh, the part that you could see. I'll just go over it. I mean, it's in pretty good shape, but I'll just go over it with some uh, semi-gloss uh, or... Uh, Satin, I guess it's uh, yeah, Krylon satin black, and go over that part. Um, but yeah, and we'll be ready hopefully next weekend for side art. So I got the front panel on. That's looking good. Uh, it's better than the last one. Looks good from the inside there. You can see it's all got new blocking going down the line. The other blocking was, it was all crudded up. So I took that off, but uh, yeah, so that's looking real good. There's the old piece there. Like I said, um, when I started peeling that laminate off, it was, um, it was just like really taking up a lot of the particle board with it. So um, I would have had to skim coat the whole thing. And uh, there's my dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> you're in the you're in the video. <laughs> so uh, I decided to yeah, just cut a whole new piece would be much easier. So I still have some sanding to do on the bondo here. Uh, this side is. Pretty much done the bondo. I um, have to just sand it a lot smoother. Uh, but yeah, still more more patching to do on this side, especially down at the bottom. But it's coming along. Um, and oh, I have to cut another piece. I got to cut the piece for the back and then the back door. I don't remember if this came with a back door or not. I can't find it. It probably didn't because there was no piece along the bottom. So there's probably no back door with it. So, yep. So that's where we're at. So time to get back to cutting some more wood.
All right, and just like that, the cabinet is complete. Um, so yeah, this cabinet, uh, like I said before, was solid, but it just needed quite a bit of Bondo. The bottom edge was all chewed up, and all around the other edges were, were pretty chewed up. The front, I think earlier in the video, I said that I was going to um, take the uh, peel the laminate off and put a new piece on, but after looking at it, not only was the laminate all broken off, but the bottom edge of the cabinet was just so chewed up and waterlogged. Uh, I just decided it would be easier to take the whole piece off and put a new piece on, laminate it. So that's all done. But yeah, the side art, it just came out really, really well. Uh, so new side art, coin door was powder coated. New control panel overlay, new bezel glass. Uh, that's the original marquee. Uh, new T-molding, uh, new controls, new trackball. But uh, yeah, it uh, it really, really came out good. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. So that's about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.